Here's another programming challenge for you to consider. Now this time around, however, I'm asking you first to devise an algorithm to solve the problem and to actually analyze your algorithms and then to implement it in code. And the problem is as follows. You are provided with a linked list, a single linked list, of an unspecified length, so you don't know the number of elements in the list. And you are asked to find the mth to last element in that list. And I'm going to define what's mth to last. So mth to last element in that list. The mth to last element is as follows. If I give you m is equal to 0, then you're going to have to find the last element in the list and provide me a pointer to it. If I give you m is equal to 1, then you're going to have to find the element that is a distance 1 away from the last element in the, in the linked list and give me a pointer to it, and so on and so forth. So essentially, we're basically ordering our elements, or our linked list elements, starting from the last position. And we're giving this last position an index of 0, and this one 1, 2, and so on and so forth. And whenever I give you this m, and this is basically the input to the function, the input to the function is the head, uh, a pointer to the head of the list and the m variable and then you're going to have to look at the list examine it using your algorithms that you're going to devise and then find the element that corresponds to the m that is provided to you so if m is equal to 4 in this particular instance of a linked list and I give you this head pointer then which element are you going to have to provide me or return by, uh, with your function it's going to be this is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 you're going to have to provide a pointer to this element now this is slightly challenging because we're talking about a singly linked list and a singly linked list can only be traversed in the forward direction. So how are you going to know uh, where an element is located with respect to the last element if you can only traverse it in the forward direction? So basically it, you don't even know the number of elements in the list and I'm asking you to find an element's position res with respect to the last element in the list, but you don't know how many elements are in the list. So this is slightly challenging, and this is what your algorithm is supposed to solve in, uh, in an efficient manner. And efficiency is really important here, so I'm going to ask you to actually analyze your algorithms. You may come up with several algorithms to solve this problem. I'm going to ask you to analyze the space and time efficiencies of your, of your algorithms. And space efficiency is basically how much memory is used by your solution and solving the problem. So if you're going to be storing pointers, if you're going to recreate the list and so on and so forth, you're going to have to account for that because this is all memory that's used. And the longer the list, if you have a list of a million elements, this is going to be really significant on whoever system you're going to be running the algorithm and the, and the solution. And then there's time efficiency. So essentially if you can uh, perform a big O of N analysis on your algorithm, that'd be great. But what we're basically looking at is how long does your algorithm take to run if we're looking at a very very long list. So the longer the list does that affect your the time that it takes to run your algorithm. And this is something that you're going to have to look at and you may devise several algorithms to solve the problem and then pick the best one based on its space and time efficiency and then implement it in code. So this is the last step, implementing it in code. And uh, this is essentially the, what I'm going to be doing in the next videos. I'm going to be looking at uh, several possibilities of algorithms and then giving you an implementation. Uh, so again, don't forget you're being passed this m variable and a pointer to the head of a particular linked list of an unspecified length. And then your function is going to have to take these two inputs, perform whatever it needs to perform based on the algorithm that you devised and then return a pointer to the specified element by an M. And also make sure that you could you could handle special conditions and error conditions. For example, what if your list is uh, not does not have as many as M elements? So if M is equal to 4 and your, your list has only 3 elements, then this your, your code must be able to handle this error condition. So just make sure that your algorithm is, is comprehensive, covers all the possible cases, and is able to uh, basically perform the function that is required of it.